What is up everybody, Deuce Reduce Gaming here, and welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided, where we last left off, Rucker was killed, or, yeah, Rucker, uh, was killed by poison, my guess, we lied to our boss Miller, because we're going to give it to the one lady, and now we're about to do two separate missions, and we're going to go invade Miller's apartment, but really fast, I thought of it, like, in between the recordings, I was sitting there like, oh, what if we do one and we can't do the other? So maybe if we invade Miller's apartment, we can't go see the evidence from the one guy, or if we go see the one guy, we can't go investigate Miller. You there? You're not gonna believe this, but Fadim Orloff is in Prague. You're kidding. I wish I were. Six months ago, he got an augmented expert's visa and has been coming and going periodically ever since. Border Control logged him in this morning. I arrived in Prague six months ago. Where's he staying? In the Lilioma Courtyard Apartments on Lavani Street, second floor. I'll check it out. Mr. Jensen, it is not our Botko Valley. I have another delicate matter that requires your expertise. I thought we were even, Otar. We will be even when I say so, my friend. Now then, do business. You will meet Mrs. Godlek, the owner of the Red Queen. I understand she has a problem, a problem named Dominic. Let's get this straight. I'm not a cleaner for the Diwali's. Why don't you send one of your own? Why? Because I am telling you to do it. I don't mention killing. Just meet with Godlik and mind your manners. She's a powerful woman. Ah, lovely. So, as you notice, I got a few upgrades in between the things because I finally figured out how to get my DLC from storage in my inventory. And I got a really cool pistol. I mean, I could also get a combat rifle, but as of right now, I don't have the room for it. Which kind of sucks I used my silencer on that, so I gotta buy a new silencer. And then I'm gonna be putting on this, because it's like a lot better than the basic 10 mil. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I need to find a person, but we leveled up a little bit. I upgraded my line of my vision, so that way I can actually see where people are looking. So that'll help with our sneaky sneak. So we're going to go do the side missions in this one. That way we can determine what do we really want to do. Let's go do the mafia mission. Why the frick not? So I'll skip unless there's like a little talky talk thing. But until then, for some reason I pressed the wrong button because why is the run button in this for some reason? Okay, here we are. The Red Queen. Not too far away. Oh, I really hope it doesn't show tits. Like, nipple tits. I mean, I know free the nipple and everything, but... I don't have the software right now to... Put images over nipples right now until the nipple is free. It's a strip club. Dead ass, so... Those painkillers? No, it's just beer. Move it. Can I sell shit to this lady? Pull this stick out of your. Oh wait, that might be a fetish thing with you. Okay, upstairs. She booked a place. That's a little bit too much clothing for this place, dude. Making me nervous. I'm sorry, but I'm still freaked out by all of this. So she's having a fling with an augmented gigolo. So what? Couples use sex toys together all the time. Think of this kid. Wrong door. Only the least that. Something to do with the hippo. Master Cadlick, I am the owner of the Red Queen. I make a point of knowing everything important, but you, you, I do not know. Could be I'm not important. Oh, please. Have you seen yourself in a mirror lately? Besides, I have a healthy curiosity. It is important to a mother. Mom wouldn't be thrilled about me being in a place like this. Really? I can't imagine why. A good time never hurt anyone. If people are getting hurt, you might end up seeing more of me than you'd like. If you're so concerned, by all means keep your eyes open for misconduct. It's like I always say, a safe client is a paying client. It's not the safety of the clients I'm worried about. The Red Queen is a family business. My eldest son works the bar. 
The other does security upstairs. Come in on the weekend, and you'll meet one of my nieces, Agnieszka. She's the late show. You see around here, nothing comes before family. What can you tell me about the Red Light District? Oh, you can't be that naive. Then again, we don't get many of your kind through here. As clients. What's with the your kind? We're all humans. Because the Diwali's control it. Now, if an Og's money is good, it challenges our preconceptions. We can be very accommodating. Still, when it comes to your kind, some among us are... What's the word? Skeptical? Yes, yes, that's a very good word for it. Skeptical. Especially when the Og in question seems to be all dressed up for something. It makes the other customers nervous. This place, it's a Diwali run operation, is that right? Half of Prague is a Diwali run operation. My family has a God-given talent for overseeing things. And well, poor Prague. It was in sore need of oversight. And what do you oversee exactly? I oversee this club, obviously. As well as certain relationships. Certain efforts that require a matriarch's touch. And the comings and goings of certain strangers who ask too many questions. I'm flattered if that was a threat. Be careful, metal man. You don't really belong here. No, I really don't. Tell me. I understand your family is very important to you. Does that include a kid named Dominic? Ah, uh, I didn't think you were here for the scenery. I'm here to repay a favor. This club is my confession. People stop by, whisper in my ear. Sometimes I forgive, sometimes not. Lately, I hear one of the Diwali men wants to reconcile with me. How old-fashioned of him. He helps you out, you help him out. I take it Dominic's causing some kind of trouble. Dominic has made bad choices for himself and for his family. We have tradition to consider. So I ask you, what is the best way to get a hot-headed young man out from where he does not belong? You talk to him. You say whatever it takes to make him understand your point of view. I would like nothing more than to strap Dominic to a chair and make him understand my point of view. But first, I need to get him into the chair. And what did you have in mind? My hands are bound by politics. <coughs> Excuse me. I think have the look of someone used to working around political matters. Perhaps you could kidnap Dominic. Dominic's the head of Ali's son. I want to understand this better. What makes Dominic your, our problem? Sometimes the Valley operations need sharp young toughs who can wave a gun. And sometimes they need men who can look good in a suit and make allegiances. So which type is he? I made an arrangement for Dominic. I found him a woman, found him a place, away from all this, where he was useful to the family. But he thinks he knows better. He thinks like Radich, Nikolaitz. He's a runaway groom. You wanted to marry him off, he wants to sit at the kingpin's table. And this costs you, doesn't it? You're very perceptive. Dominic is disposable to Radich, but to me, he can bring a more capable wife into the fold. My fold. All right, where's Dominic now? What do you want me to do? They call it Hotel Narikala, an old Georgian joke. One of Radich's safe houses. Dominic knows we cannot interrupt a Radich's hospitality. And that's where I come in. It's heavily guarded, I assume. Mm -hmm. And surveillance systems, alarms. This is the boy. So I sneak into this building, find Dominic, tell him he's expected back home. No. You get in, you incapacitate Dominic. You bring him out and leave him in a cozy storage locker. No one can see any of this happen. 
You want me to knock this guy out and drag him through a building full of Radish's men, undetected? You're kidding, right? Where I am from, abduction of the bride was a time-honored custom. So you think of this as an act for equality? You'll know Dominic by his tattoo. Do not bring me the wrong man. We're just getting deeper, and I'm stealing. I and expected nothing less of you. Deeper into this shit, I stole all their money. You can suck my dick, and let's keep moving. <sighs> all right, let's go get this Diwali boy. Get lost. This place is not for you. This place is not for you. Turn around, Clay. You are not allowed inside. Alright, 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 I get it. Welcome to the Irish stool, buddy. Pull one up and I will see what we can do for you. Irish stool. Catchy name. Very evocative. I like to think so. Well, what will it be? Nothing. Not right now, thanks. I've got something to get to. We're uh, right a little Irish bar. Oh, I can't do the accent, sorry guys. Where the fuck do I go? I didn't get past all this shit and I don't want to get stuck now, man. Okay, enough bitching, Sam. Figure this out. Use the little brain that you have. How do you go from in here to in back behind there without getting caught, without causing a fight, or a scene without getting anything else? Okay, enough of that. Okay, so I have one of two stupid ideas. So, let's look at our map real fast. Doesn't look like there's any way of actually... Wait, sewer access. Oh, sounds like a thunderstorm. Really? So hopefully you guys don't get the background noise of that. Fuck you then. What the hell? Enough of that. Let's climb up here. Alright, so if you guys are wondering what the hell was my first stupid plan other than this, was me coming up here for no stupid reason. No. Uh, what really, what it was, was me going invisible right in front of them and sneaking past sneaking past them that way but as you can tell I never saw a man try harder to look like he came up from the streets Dominique all right so what submission we need to do so he has like a little flower tattoo on his thing time in some moscow boutique he got that shit on his legs in so we have Two people up here, we'll looks like. About who he no cameras on this floor. Ah, if he wants posers, my hometown is full of them. You know the deal. Um, looks some like guys are there. doing the shooting, and some are for getting shot. Nothing to report on this floor. You get stuck cleaning. Something is in the air. Sorry, dude. No pissing for you. So. 
way past your bedtime. You guys just blow each other. Why not steal shit from the Diwali since they're making me be that little bitch to begin with? Well, they're not making me, but I can probably see it coming into the story later if I didn't actually help them. They'd actually be massive douche nozzles to me. Got beer. Beer is always good. Drown out the sound. Alright. Shit, that thing's gonna come this way. So what I'm going to do... Shit, I'm out of range. their torture room guys they're not a security computer so you're useless to me All right. so more than likely like as always the case with these things he's gonna be on the top floor or he's gonna be right in the area where you see all those fucking cameras to hope and me being who the fuck's gonna see it's those two assholes fuck uh -huh. alright let's try this again sorry about that guys I don't know why it disconnected me from my own account Let me throw that over there, get his attention. Night night, motherfucker, part do. Making too much noise for a knocked out man. Alright, let's sneak up behind this working lady because I don't trust him. Sorry! I really am sorry. So we can clear the air and reevaluate how we can pose this. So the sentiment that it's Okay, either this guy's gonna subjugation is false then, Doctor? Unequivocally false. The goal of the legislation is to ensure that they are as safe from us as we are. I don't know what I'd It, I'm guessing, unlock this door. I'll take the chips, but I don't need the gun. I'll just close that up. You're not who I'm looking for. I need to get up those stairs though, bro. Alright. So 
Fuck you, you asshole. I was so out of your range. I hate cameras, guys. I hate cameras. I don't know what those others are for. Maybe it's to like block it to show, like, so that way I can't be traced for it, so that way it can't be traced back to me. That's the only thing I can think of. I break a window. Let me guess, he's in the theater. No, it says he's in the apartments. you live just shut the fuck up I don't even know how you saw that but you did forget everything I know I sound like a dick when I say that but I'm not I, I, it's a fear tactic guys if I wanted to kill her I would have killed her take that I'll take that, and I'll take all this stuff. Sorry that I'm just looting, guys. It's just... Trying to find this asshole is ridiculous. Plus, you can never... Ooh, I got a revolver. Although, I have my awesome revolver that I got for DLC. I just don't want to use it. Because that's, you know, aggressive boom-boom tactics. I don't want to do aggressive boom-boom tactics. Ta tactics. Seriously? All this guarding is pointless. But those are orders. That just leads me here. Got him. Uh, where did that body go?
So I have to somehow get this guy all the way the fuck back the way I came without killing his ass. Oh wait, there's a camera right there. Oh, I got really fucking lucky with that. Get over here, motherfucker. Oh wait, I was on... Fuck me. I was on the floor right below this one. It's like waiting for an elevator. Where did that body go? Oh, I still have a hold of him. Cadillac, I delivered your boy Dominic. No one saw me go in or out. Impressive. How is he? He's still out cold. Might want to ease off on the bright lights when he comes around. I'll keep that in mind. We do want him to be as attentive as possible. I think this concludes our business tonight. Alright, cool. Well, that was a bunch of hubbly blue. blue. Alright, let's go find this Orlov guy. see your face on the info link. I did the job for Catholic. She told me herself. It is the first time we have spoken in... Well, uh, things change, huh? The debt you took for Caller is paid. Perhaps it is now I who owes you the favor. I'll remember it, Otar. <laughs> you do that, my friend. Apparently, as I heard, the guy's still alive. It's... Street yet? I've been busy. Don't miss this chance, son. Based on past border control logs, Orlov never stays in Prague for very long. Alright, so basically this is a time-based side mission. That's what it looks like at least, so it's a good thing we're doing that now then. Up and over. He's up there. And I saw this over here. So I'm guessing this is the way in. I hope. Yes, that's one way of doing it. I guess you wouldn't be able to do this unless you got that ability. It's kind of lame. Feels like everyone is tired. What the fuck? He's right next to my workplace. Holy Hannibal biscuits. Nope, didn't work. But maybe. 
if I move this thing. Lady, you're drunk. Go home. Or you're dead. One of the two. Both neither sound good. Let's drop you right here. And then up. And then this way. Um. Just from looking in the window, guys, it looks like people are dead. Hmm. Seraph. I found Orloff. He's dead. What? Are you sure it's him? Well, technically, I never met him before. I did, however, meet a doctor who looks just like him in Alaska. In that clinic I told you about? His name then was McFadden. Christ, Adam. What exactly happened to you in that clinic? I don't know. I was in the coma ward. It was run by the World Health Organization. Facility 451. Can you dig into it? Of course. I'm gonna search this body and the apartment and see what I can find. Oh no, you're sneaking since the guy's dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's dead. Kinda of wrong to use another guy's shower, but he's dead, he won't care. I'm gonna make him comfy though. Pick him up. Here. Hey, there's someone underneath your bed, sir. Sir? Sir. Get over here, you motherfucker. Stop moving. So much work for a dead guy. There. Now it looks like you're sleeping. Um, That's in me. So why can't I pick that up? That is clearly... Ooh, terminal. Oh. Bad terminal. Alright, well, let's get in the terminal because I don't have a level 5 hacking skill yet. I think I probably have some praxis, but I'm too lazy. Probably shouldn't waste it, but you know what? You never know. Why does it look like it's like set up for a camera shot? Is there something I'm missing? All right, next mission will be, all right. So I think we're gonna search Miller's apartment first before we meet Smiley, even though we're right next to the office. <laughs>